the regular Alfredo cheese. Oh, mm, mm. don't you dare say that about my mussy pussy. How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. He looks like Jabba the Hutt from Star Wars. Your father was watching Star Wars the other day. And I walked into the room and I said, oh my God, that's Harvey Weinstein. Delivery, delivery, delivery for Nick and Avocado. We got some Olive Garden. Are you guys hungry for Olive Garden? I'm starving. And I just got a little bit, a little. Oh, this is very low. Hello, can you see me? 8,000 calories from Olive Garden. Oh, by the way, by the way I'm, I decided I should maybe go into bodybuilding. This is no lie, no joke. I'm going to unbox everything. Welcome to today's mukbang. Can you see me? I know, I'm like a floating head. Don't you worry. It's, yeah. Okay, so before I begin, I want to open up a gift. This is a package that came to my P.O. box, which is no longer open, but I promised you guys if you sent me anything, I would open them on camera. So I got a lot of stuff. And today I'm going to be opening up from the one and the only Megan. We're going to do this one first. Can you see? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Here we go. So I don't know what this is. Wait, am I doing this right? Where's the, where's the hole? Where's the, oh, here. Okay. So I go like this. I should probably have like a, um, a box cutter. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah. And then it goes like this. So excited. Oh, it says fragile. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Megan, you went all out. Oh my god. These are for Orlin. Let me take this out of here. Orlin is gonna go crazy. Like Orlin will just cry happiness. Oh, I love Sheen Ramen. Okay, so I got some Sheen Ramen. Oh, this is Orlin's too. Let me hide it. Oh my god, I am so- Oh, and it didn't break in the mail. I'm so happy. Dumpling steamers. Now these are legit. Orlin found me some in Colombia. They were like this tiny. Oh, Nick, try with caution. XXX. Uh-oh. Oh, she wrote me a little letter. What else is in here? Sticker is hubby's work logo. Okay, this is her husband's work. If Interlake Steamship. Oh, two dumpling steamers. I'm getting better at spice, but you know- Uh-oh. Ground zero, da bomb. Da bomb. It actually says that. Consume one drop at a time. Extreme caution. Keep out of reach of children. Oh my god, where are the nutrition facts? <laughs> uh, death? Death? Oh no, habaneros. Please, please use very, very small amount. A pin drop size is enough to set your world on fire. I don't know if you can handle it. Thank you so much, Megan. I love dumpling steamers. And I'm so, and Orlin's gift. I'm gonna record Orlin getting his gift because he will flip out. Thank you, Megan. I love you so much. You're amazing. I'm gonna put this in my olive garden. I know Megan, she's a friend. So I know she how much she likes carbonara and Italian pasta. So I'm putting this in my olive garden mukbang. So let's feast. Let me show you everything I got. Okay, so this is olive garden. They have takeout, which is so easy, you know. Can I even see what I'm doing? We got breadsticks. We got four breadsticks in here. Four breadsticks in here. Four breadsticks in here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get so large and in charge. Four breadsticks in here. So I got enough for like a whole family, but this is for me. Okay, so here's all my utensils. And when I was ordering on this, I figured like, are they gonna think like this is for a family or all for me? They probably figured it was for a family of 15. Okay, salad number one, it comes with Italian dressing and ranch dressing, and it's a beautiful garden salad. You know, the, the unlimited salad you get at Olive Garden is very delicious. <clears throat> Italian seasoning and uh, Italian dressing. So I got two of those, and here's all my soups. We got the pasta and vegetables. This here is the chicken. No, this one's the chicken. This is another veggie one. No, marinara. This is the chicken cream one. I was told this one's the best. And I have all my dipping sauces for the breadsticks. We got an Alfredo dipping sauce, a five cheese dipping sauce, and a marinara sauce. Oh, and here's my order. Oh, and at the bottom, they can you see me? <laughs> at the bottom, they have like mints, so to freshen up. Now here are my entrees. I got the taste of Italy, which is some cheese covered chicken parmesan and some spaghetti with spaghetti sauce. I also got a big bowl of lasagna. This here is like a ch cheese sauce. I don't I think that's for something. I don't know. Okay, fettuccine alfredo is a classic at Olive Garden, so I had to get two because I'm really, really hungry. And I also got some chicken parmesan. So let me set everything up and we're gonna begin our feast. I got my salad. I don't even know where to put my darn sap. Well, you know, vegetables. I should be eating my salad first, but there's no room on the table. 
Let's begin everyone. Welcome to my eating show. I know I'm blending in with the wall. It's pretty cool. My hands are floating, but whatever. I am starving. Cheers. We're gonna have a great feast together. I want to see how much I can eat, you know? Ice cold water. This is all heated, by the way. This is all really, really warm. The plastic, since it's black, it's retaining the heat, so it's like a little hot. But I really, really, really need some new. I need. I call them noodles. This is pasta. I need some fettuccine Alfredo. I'll just. I'll start with one. <laughs> it's so much, but whatever. So the Italian way is to twirl. Where's my spoon? You twirl into a spoon. You know, this isn't noodles. You don't slurp them. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here I go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Did I just fling something? I don't know. <clears throat> mm-hmm. What are you guys eating with me? Okay, this is gonna be a big mouthful. Mm. Mm hmm. Delicious. <sighs> Yay. Okay, let's have some breadsticks. Now these are the special dips that come with the breadsticks. So we got some, um, this is the four cheese. I love four cheese. It's just so cheesy. Mmm. <laughs> How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. My day is very, very good. Marinara. Mm-hmm. There's a film, a layer of butter at the top. Maybe I should stir it more. I mean, they made this a few hours ago, so. Uh, it's like pure butter and oil. This is just the regular Alfredo cheese. Oh, mm, mm. That is butter. It tastes like eating garlic bread. Mmm. How are you today? That is what I say. Oh my god. Now we're gonna try my egg, no, this is chicken parmesan. I love chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan, it's way better than eggplant parmesan because you actually feel full at the end of it. You know, with the eggplant, like it's nice and healthy and all, but this is like, Oh, where's my knife? Where's my knife? Oh, the table's a little squeaky. Sorry. Oh, oh, and it's like breaded. Is this deep fried chicken? I don't even know. Oh, that flavor is the best. I like it better than the fettuccine and I love fettuccine Alfredo. But this one, oh, okay, I'll have some, okay. The universe, you know, ooh. You know all the hippies, the new age people, the ones that are all spiritual and stuff, they're like, yeah, the universe provided. The universe sent me here. You probably don't, maybe you don't. I was involved with lots of like people like that. I used to be a hippie. And you'd be walking down the street and someone would see an orange under a tree and be like, oh, oranges, synchronicity. The universe is telling me to eat that orange. Well, you know what? The universe tells me to eat that chicken. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 
squeaky table alert. Is it even that bad? I don't know. Oh, I have to try my soup. I have so much. And my lasagna. Oh, oh, here's some spaghetti. Classic spaghetti. Look at that. Mmm. Get in my tummy. Get. We're gonna do a big mouthful. The universe provides. It truly does. Now let's have some spaghetti. Should mix this sauce around. Uh, it's steaming. Maybe it's a little too hot. I don't know. Classico spaghetti o. Mmm. That marinara sauce is sweet. That is very good. Oh, by the way, by the way, I'm. I decided I should maybe go into bodybuilding. Mm mm. Excuse me. There's a dog barking. Hmm. Cheers to the universe and Megan. <gasps> that dog. So my parents have two dogs, Riley and Hopper. Hopper is a three-legged dog that, well, they've always rescued all their animals. My mom got really mad at me yesterday because Miss Kitty is bred and she's bald, but I'll get into that in a minute. Um... The one barking is a three-legged dog. Its leg got chopped off or ran over by a car or something terrible. Let me go make it be quiet. Hello, Hopper. What the heck is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Hoppity hop, 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 hop. See, this is where the leg would be, and it's not. Hello? Oh, it's a little too bright. Hello. Oh. Hello, Hopper. You give me your paw. Yes, you do, girl. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And this is Riley, the senior citizen. She's 17. She's deaf and blind. Mostly blind. Poor thing. Almost 10 years apart here. I was like 16 or 17. I'm now 25. I'm gonna be 26 in a couple months So this is literally 10 years difference from my face to this face um, I'm in the bathroom because I'm gonna wash my hands. I just touched the touch the dog. So let's wash these hands Desperate Cheeto you know you want a lot of people. Da 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 da. You know you want a lot of people. La da 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 da. Pa pa da 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 da. Best friend, Chito. Okay, back in my room. And the feast continues. I'm back home. Shoo be do. I'm home. Hello. Now we're gonna try some lasagna. I'm gonna scoot my spaghetti and that chicken parmesan is probably my favorite so far if I had to have a favorite and I haven't even had the soups um yeah so Riley the senior citizen she's 17 like I said and she just you know you call her name she doesn't come she, she never wags her tail she's so slow mmm look at all this cheese mmm Mm-hmm. Part of my rich. Yes, honey. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> mm. I never really drink when I eat, you guys know that, but just a little this is a small amount. Just to cleanse the palate. And let's do the soups. This is really good. 
let's do the soups now. So let's do soup number one. This is the chicken. Chicken cream cremo. Oops. Vespercito. Chicken potato or something like that. Oh my god. Is this what I'm thinking of? Is this chicken? I don't even remember. That's obviously the vegetable. This, yeah, this is the chicken. Oh my god. Is that real chicken? That's like processed chicken. This alone is worth coming to Olive Garden. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, poor Riley. My mom said the other day, she said, I prayed, I prayed to the Lord that I wake up and she's just dead. I was like, what do you mean by that? Because she says, <clears throat> you know, your father's saying, you know, she's having accidents in the house. She's running into the walls. She doesn't listen. She can barely walk. She never seems happy. They've been giving her aspirin every day, not aspirin, some kind of pain reliever every day. Just because you would think she's probably in pain. My mom said, that's no way to live, but I can't, I can't pull myself to just be like, let's put her down, the injection, right? She just wants the Lord to take her away. And she says, I just want to wake up and have her dead. And I was just good for her, good for me, good, you know, and it's, uh, when Miss Kitty gets old and sick, what do I do? It's a very hard thing to comprehend, you know, <clears throat> to think about. Oh, this has beans. Beans make me really sick. So let's throw the beans out of there. Oh, it's nice. It's like a chili. This is a chili. Because there's meat in here, too. This is a very filling soup, actually. Has meat and beans and pasta. With a tiny bit of spice. It's okay. I just, I'm so afraid of beans now. I told mom I could digest nails better than I just digest beans. This has beans, too. <laughs> Oh, this is lighter. The soup's not as thick. It's very veggie tasting, whereas this one's thick and meaty. I would prefer this. This is, well, if you're on a diet, <laughs> which I'm not. Me, I don't do diets, no. Okay, I get the point. I need my chicken parmesan. <laughs> I need my chicken parmesan. Beesh, get over here. Okay, bye. Okay, so, yeah, poor Riley. Ugh. What do you guys do in that situation? Like, what would you do? You have to make a choice, you know? And keeping a suffering dog alive for your own enjoyment is kind of selfish. I told Orlin, if my brain is dead, if I'm in a coma, if I can't walk, if I'm like a vegetable... Or if I'm at the point, I'm just like, kill me now. You know, I don't want to be a burden on him, sucking all his money away to keep me pumped up to a machine. Like, it's just, that's no way to, the existence is gone. So, it's just hard for people to realize that you're going to be so much happier. And Remember when I died at the hospital, I flatlined? I told you the story. I feel like death is painless, even when you're burned alive. And maybe the first couple minutes first couple uh maybe 60 seconds of being burned alive is terrible but your body sends out endorphins and just so they don't that your body doesn't want you to feel the pain and when you're dead you get re oh let's change the subject oh my god i'm so sorry mm-hmm This chicken parmesan is my favorite. Chicken parmigiana. When I made the order over the phone, I was like, I'll have a classic lasagna. They're like, um, hold on, let me look for that. What, wait, what'd you say classic lasagna? I'm searching, I'm searching. And on the menu it says lasagna classico. And she's like, oh, do you mean the lasagna classico? I'm like, that, what did you think I meant? <laughs> I guess you're such in a routine of hearing that order of those words, lasagna classico, instead of classic lasagna, and the little O at the end, classico, that you just you can't put two and two together. You know, I'm, I was just being funny, but.
Mm. Very, very nice. My salad. I need some nutrition. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I see this? Oh, you guys, so <clears throat> I did a Taco Bell mukbang yesterday. And you guys, I always want to finish my food. Oh, there goes my mint for nice breath. Went into the pasta. Oops. I always want to finish. Oh, where do I put this? There's no room. Let's move the bread down over here. Bye bye bread. Desperate Cheeto. And what are we going to do? Italian or ranch? Italian! Bum ba bum ba bum ba ba da dum ba da 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 yum ba da da dum ba da bum ba yum ba oh yum um I did my Taco Bell mukbang. I ordered like a lot, and I had like two tacos left over, which is pretty good considering I ordered like twelve. <laughs> and I was like, okay, let me put them in the fridge. I'll I'll save them for tomorrow. Not even the next day, like in the mid like at midnight. I'm like, I need a snack to put me out. It, Put me out to sleep, because right now, I'm a little too, um, you know, food knocks me out too. It's nice. Oh, croutons. They gave me croutons, and they also gave me these, which are really cool. Like, you know the Parmesan cheese? They put them in little Olive Garden packets. So this is shredded cheese, ready to go. I love cheese. Oh my gosh, I can't stop singing today. I'm, I hope I'm not annoying you. Look, it's Parmesan cheese powder. I love cheese. I love cheese, yes I do. I love cheese. We're making cheese. Ha la la la. Here we are. Oops, no. <laughs> oh. Are these hot, these things? Are these spicy, these little peppers? Or is that the banana pepper that's sweet? I don't think Italians eat spicy food. Let me see. Oh, it's a sweet pepper. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, an olive. I love olives. Hello, come to me. I like olives. That's for Orlin. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Had enough nutrients, so I'll buy. I want more of this. Fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, so my mom got so upset <clears throat> because I, she says, "Where was so you bought Miss Kitty? How much did you pay?" I was like, "Under a thousand. She's like, "You paid a thousand? I'm like, "Not exactly. It was like eight hundred with the exchange rate, or seven hundred." I was like, but those cats go for like 4,000 in the United States in extreme Persian. They're bred specifically. And she's like, I am disgusted. Are you serious? And I was like, yeah, mom, what, 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 what? She's like, I am just shocked. You grew up in a family that has always rescued animals. And I was like, mom, there's no, no answer, no answer buts. You could have gone outside and got a stray. <laughs> Also, my mom, first of all, there's no such thing as animal shelters in Colombia. Humane society, that is an American privilege, okay? China, no, I mean, all of Asia, all of Latin America, all of South America. There's dogs, cats, wild animals everywhere. It's a mess. And it's because of humans, because they couldn't stop breeding them. So now this is their own problem. They don't have the money or the interest to go take care of them. That's a, that's a white American and European Privilege, okay. For, she's like, it doesn't matter. You could have brought a stray. I was like, you want me to bring in a stray cat? Number one, that's gonna rip up all our furniture. Number two, we'll never ever be litter trained. 
are you in your are you in your right mind? Won't be litter trained. Number three, won't be able to touch it. It'll attack you. It's like taking someone from North Korea and sticking it in Las Vegas and saying, "Hello, integrate into society." There you go. Yeah, you know what to do. No, they don't. You know, they, they come from two separate worlds. They cannot. It, you know, it's a whole. When you're raised to believe it, it you can't just expect them to, to fit in. Okay, Miss Kitty was bred. Okay. My mom's like, they're only bred because, they're only bred because you're giving them money. They're only, I was like, well, isn't that how most of the world works? The chickens are raised in the chicken coop because most of the world demands to eat chicken. You know, like anything you buy is made because they know there's a demand. Like what that, that's the whole world. And I told Orlin, my, I was like, Orlin, Orlin, my mom's really upset that we bought Miss Kitty. He's like, because he worked at a vet <clears throat> and he's just like, I told her, she's like, we should have gotten a stray off the street. He's like, good luck catching a stray cat. <laughs> like, running around with a fishnet. Those are fast, vicious beasts in the wild, you know? So. Oh, well. I would never, and my mom's like, well, there's probably people that have cats that want to give them away and they don't have homes. I'm, what am I supposed to do? Knock on all the doors in Colombia? Hi, I'm a white person. I got a lot of money. I would like to buy your animal you don't want. There's no eBay. Like, what the? Like, do you understand? It's a whole different world. <laughs> Hi, I would like to buy your animals. Do you have any for sale? And then she said, well, you could have come to the United States and adopted one and brought it back. I was like, or I could just do what I want and get a, a cat that was bred that needs a home. It's uh, Miss Kitty still needed a home, whether she was bred or not. The chickens are raised to be eaten. If you don't eat them, what happens to all of them? You know, like, you know, PETA, the animal rights thing. There's so many stray animals that they just have to put them down because not enough. It's just, that's just the reality and reality in this world is not always pretty. And, um, Miss Kitty, my mush, mush, mushy pussy, which I miss so much. I just got off the phone with Orlin before starting this. I said goodnight to him. Ooh. And I was like, <sighs> and I was like, you know, Miss Kitty is so good. I, I was almost in tears. I miss Miss Pussy Pussy. And she is the best, best, best. Like, she comes to you when you call her. You say, don't go there. She she goes into her house. You can do anything to her. You can cradle her like a, like a baby. You can throw her over your shoulder and pat her. You can sit on her. She loves to be crushed and sat on. She's just the best. She, you can cut her nails and she just lays there. We give her baths, and she doesn't fight back. You can clean, we clean her eyes and give her medicine, and she's just so submissive and so sweet. And my parents have always had cats. You can't see them, they run away. You try to touch them, they scratch, hiss. They rip up, Miss Kitty has never destroyed any furniture. She knocked over a plant one time, but that's whatever. You know, she's never ripped up or chewed anything. And she's not declawed. She still has her claws. She's just very sweet. She gets all the cockroaches at night to keep us safe and sound. Um, I'm totally defending her like my child right now. I'm like, don't you dare say that about my mussy pussy. You know, like, that is my pussy. Get off it. Back off. That is mine. <laughs> and she just thinks it's such, the, such an issue. I don't think so. I mean, yes, $800 is a lot, but I saved, and it was still better, and, you know, those are expensive in the States. They're probably in the, in the, in the thousands. Whatever. I'm done. I'm over, I'm over the rant, but I need more lasagna. This is a second lasagna, but let me get through one first. Today, I'm going to go to the thrift store. Mmm. To 
buy some basketball shorts because I'm not paying new price for basketball shorts now. I went to Target yesterday. I got some underwear and I got some socks. That's it. And that's all I really needed. And I have to go return the underwear <clears throat> because I think it's too big. Okay, so for the last five years, I've been size small. Size shirt small, size pants small. I've gained a little weight, water weight. <laughs> and um, I need a bigger size. And so I went to Target and I bought a size large. And I tried it on right out of the shower. And you know, like if I go to sit down or squat or bend over, it kind of slides off my butt. It goes, Weep. I'm like, okay, it's a little too loose. I thought I needed a little, I'm not that big. Yeah, it was like for 36 to 38 inch. No, I'm probably 34, 35. I used to be 32, 30, maybe a 31. <laughs> so whatever, but I'm just saying, no, I need, I need to go into the medium department. So I'm going to return them. I literally put it on right, right out of the shower. I was like, no, they're too big. Put it back in the package. Is that gross? I'm sorry. Well, no, people do it all the time. I opened the thing of underwear, and they're all supposed to have tags and like little plastic wrap to show that it came out fresh out of the factory. Well, two of them didn't have it. So two other people also tried on that box of underwear and also returned it. You wash your clothes anyway before you, whatever. So that's on my to-do list. I'm going to go to Target, exchange for some mediums. They're Hanes boxer briefs. Um, so comfortable. I love boxer briefs. Boxers are really nice. I like to walk around the house in them. I like to see other men in them. I like to see Orlin in them. You know, a cute guy, you know, on like a magazine cover of boxers. Yes, daddy pants. But in terms of comfort comfortability, you want something smooth and close to your skin. They can wear tight jeans in. So anyways, um, yes, that's why, that's why I got it. And I like Hanes because it lasts. Uh, fr fruit, of the, fruit of the Fruit of the Loom, Loom of the Fruits, something like that. It's a cheaper thing you can get at Target and Walmart, but to save $2 or $3, you're going to have underwear that breaks in two months. The seams pop out. It's not made as well, I think. It's very like, so I was like, I want underwear that can last me. Hmm. Let's do more breadsticks. This is really nice. Okay, the four, five cheese or four cheese? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Marinara. Mm-hmm. I need some cheese. I have some cheese powder. And we have oiled buttered Alfredo. This is the best one. It's probably the most unhealthiest. Like, look at all that butter. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. You guys, I asked my dad again. You wanna do wings? I know you like wings. What do you wanna do with me? He's like, I don't know. I don't know if I have the. I, I don't know if I'm brave enough to be on your YouTube channel. And I kind of put. And I could tell he was nervous. He was like going like this with his hair, and it was like knowing that people are watching and judging and criticizing. I don't think you. No, parents don't want that. Most people don't want that. Want that. that that's why most people don't do YouTube to try to make a living. So, oh, you might not see my dad. That's okay. Or my mom, definitely not. She says no. Did I eat all my chicken ganoush? Is what's ganoush mean? I think this is called chicken ganoush. This really nice. I got a lot of food.
But like I said, that Taco Bell midnight thing, I had two tacos right before bed after eating 12 of them or something, or like eight, because I bought 12, something like that. You know, I always finish it, and yeah. Excuse me. And I did Red Lobster. This is my third mukbang since being home. I did Taco Bell right away. And then I did um, Red Lobster, and now I'm doing this. One every day. And in the Red Lobster, I had like two lobster tails left over and some shrimp. And I always, always find a way to finish. Always. Now, if it's really gross, I'll toss it. But there's nothing... Oh, that one lobster part was really bad. I did toss that. I offered it to my mom and my dad. You know, we're family. I was like, by the way, if you want this. Because I already bought my mom a separate shrimp scampi. And my dad got a lasagna from Olive Garden. You know, I like, I like being able to do that. My parents... I've been so generous to me growing up, you know. I never, ever starved. They paid for all my violin lessons. They're very generous, right? And so now that I'm older, it feels good for me that now that I'm not, like, broke like I used to be, I can I can buy them a meal and feel really... It feels good to, be, like, give my parents something, some simple as a meal, but it's just... I like it. I've never really... Never really did that before. I was in college, dropped out of college, went to New York. I literally was living off five thousand dollars for like months and months. You guys know the story. It was <laughs> I used to walk two hours to save a two dollar bus ride kind of thing. I wasn't really I was really skinny back then, that's what that's a plus. I burned all my calories. <laughs> And the thing is, too, I'm not home often. I'm home, like, once a year. Anyways, I finished the lobster and the shrimp. Oh. So that's good. I always find... This chicken is so good. Last night, what do I want to do next? More fettuccine. Last night, I was with my mom watching the Olympics. We were watching the ice skaters. Oh my gosh, see, I don't have TV, I don't have cable. I see stuff on Twitter or I can YouTube stuff, but other than that, like, it was so cool to see a commercial. <laughs> you guys probably hate ads on YouTube, you know? I have ads on my videos, like 30 seconds, it's whatever, or sometimes less, sometimes more. But, um,. And that's probably an annoyance, right? But for me to sit down and see all these ads, I was like, wow. <laughs> Columbia has ads too, we just don't watch TV. And you know, I was thinking to myself, do people actually go out and buy stuff right away because of a commercial? I think their idea is that if they show it enough, it's subconsciously in your mind so that you're more inclined to purchase it or think about it when you're in the store and you see it, you're like, oh, I for some reason really want this. You know, it's like a subconscious program programming thing I think I don't think very few people go out either way I mean unless it's something you really need or really want like those as seen on TV things hmm. you know people have a way of really selling things I'm full Yeah, I'm doing one mukbang a day, so this will be for tonight. <laughs> and maybe tomorrow as well. Let me at least, I finished all my eggplant, I mean chicken parmesan. I finished almost all of the lasagna. I have a little spaghetti left and a little, let me finish this bowl of fettuccine. 
How many cal- yeah, okay. 10,000 calories? Oh, yeah. One of my friends growing up, her name, well, should I say her name? Let's call her Barbara. Barbara loved Olive Garden. She used to take me there because she had a driver's license. I didn't get a driver's license until I met Orland. I was like 22 years old. I was on the Pennsylvania seizure list. I couldn't even drive. They took away my permit to learn how to drive. I don't have seizures, but you guys know I, have, I pass out. So I never had my license in high school or college. And anyway, so she used to take me in high school, like junior year, senior year. She lives you know, a few blocks away. She used to take me to Olive Garden. We used to feast. Oh, so not like this. This is like a little excessive. Just a little. But, you know, we used to just, oh, I loved it. We could be like, can I have more breadsticks? Can I have more salad? Oh, can I have more breadsticks? We would eat like 50 breadsticks. Whew, I am full. Italian food really makes you like food coma. Food coma food. Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm getting full. I kind of like the spice in a weird way. It's spicy and sweet at the same time. Oh, spicy. It is so weird. I crave spicy food so much because of those Korean fire noodles. My body's getting ad adapted to them. Even though I still cry when I have those things, I, I crave it. It's very strange. What sp like Indian's food that's spicy, they say that once you eat it, you can't stop eating it. That's how spicy food works. Yeah. Oh, like I like the burn on my tongue. That was my first time whistling. Oh my god. I've never been able to whistle. Growing up, I knew how to snap. My sister didn't know how to snap. She knew how to whistle. I can't whistle. That was my first time whistling. Kind of. And I used to try to teach her how to snap. And she used to try to teach me how to whistle. And we both failed. I don't know if she can still... I should ask her. <laughs> can you still snap? Because I can't whistle. I think it's one of those things you have to learn as a kid or you'll never do it. <clears throat> like, learn how to be nice. You know, there's some adults in this world. Yeah, like I, I was saying, my mom and I sat down watching the Olympics, which was really cool, but then also we started talking about politics, and I don't like to talk about politics on here because is, I feel like my video should be an escape from all the nonsense and all the reality, and I, mean, I, mean, I know I talk about my life, but you know. But anyways, I was just hearing her thoughts about all the scandals and the Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> And she was so funny. Okay, we can all agree that Harvey Weinstein, I don't think anyone says, no, leave him alone. He's a nice guy. Like, I think we all unanimously, we all think, yeah, that was bad. She was so funny about it. She was like, I say, my God. She's like, my God, what possesses these women to want to do anything with that? He looks like Jabba the Hutt from Star Wars. I, your father was watching Star Wars the other day. And I walked into the room and I said, oh my God, that's Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> And I was just like, Mom, it's money. These girls, they... Well, not all of them. Some of them. I mean, they're mixed. Some people were willing to sleep with him to get the promotion. Some were forced. Some said, okay, I'll take the money if I stay quiet. It's not all black and white. Every, every woman has their own story and the way they went about it. And not just him, but in general, like Donald Trump... Well, I'm sorry, I don't want to say that, but... She was just saying, what makes people attracted to these, these, these toads? <laughs> something like that like what possesses these and I said mom a lot of time people are with you for money like like the most the will the wealthiest billionaires in the world have all these hot young little wives you know with boob jobs and it they're all like perfect looking do you think if the money wasn't part of the equation I mean yes I feel like you can love someone if they if they're way older but I'm talking like just 
think of a random 70 year old rich person with a 24 year old wife like i don't think they're naturally attracted he might be into her but she doesn't say oh the hot football player jock that's my age no 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 i want my grandpa what would make them there's a mo motive something to help you jump on top of grandpa and that's the thing I, I said money mom yeah money and she says yeah but some of these movie stars she's no oh not the not his victims she was saying his wife that's what she was saying she was like his wife okay that probably didn't make sense because the the girls that were saying you know he did stuff to they weren't going there willingly it was like if you want your job come here or he was pushing them into a corner you know you guys know the stories it's disgusting no i'm sorry she said his wife she's like what would possess her to be with that i was like money and then she's like no nick she's had a very 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 successful fashion business way before before she met him you know I don't, I don't know much about his wife. I don't barely know anything about him. Honestly, until the scandal, I didn't know who he was. No. I did not know who he was. So. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I am full as can be. I can't tell from the lights behind the camera. I don't know if I'm actually blended in with the wall. I haven't even started editing. I've done three. This is my third video here in my old room at my parents' house. And yeah, it's, I haven't even watched them back to see, am I actually floating? Or can you see, because this is technically brown, but I don't know, it's something different. There's, well, first of all, there's nothing else in the house that has a white background. I like a nice, clean, white background. That's my personal preference. Some people... You know, other eating channels, they'll show their room, you know, it feels very cozy. I like clean and modern, and, well, my house isn't modern, but, you know, the idea of just clean and empty and just, I don't know, I prefer that. <clears throat> but it's all a preference. Some people feel like, I don't want to watch you eat in a hospital, so now you get to watch me eat in outer space. Anyways, thank you so much for eating with me. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I'm here every single day making new, <clears throat> excuse me, videos, and sometimes I burp, but that's okay. And I hope you enjoyed all my stories. They weren't really like crazy stories, but they were stories. And I'm about to go to Target and uh, the the thrift store. Thrift store for shorts, Target to exchange for smaller underwear. I can't believe I'm saying that. I had to get a size smaller. Watch, I'm gonna get those mediums and they're gonna be too tight. So what do I do, lose weight or fit my way into the large ones? Well, let me finish all this food, and maybe Olive Garden will help me achieve that goal. Thanks, Olive Garden. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I would show you my butt to let you determine, but uh, I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. Can you show... Actually, yes, you can show dupas on YouTube. You can show butts. I'm not... No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. Anyways... Thank you so much for watching, and please follow me on Twitter. I probably had, like, a little Twitter sign this whole time. I'm trying to grow my Twitter. It's only at, like, 20K, and I got half a million on YouTube. So, I would like to have it at 50K or 100K. That would be really cool, because this is that's my number one go-to social media thing. Like, if I have something to say, but I don't want to make a video about it, I'll, I'll make a tweet, or I'll post photos of my life and Miss Kitty and Orlin and all that kind of stuff. Um... And also, it's in real time. So, like, a lot of time my videos are, like, a few days beforehand or even a week or a month before beforehand. Which doesn't make them more or less enjoyable. It's just the reality. I can't film and edit and produce and publish all in the same day. So, m no YouTubers do that. You think your YouTubers that film daily are that day? There might be, like, 1% of them. They are done in advance. Okay. Oh, I kind of whistled again. I am so full. <laughs> and it feels good. I feel like I need a nice nap before I go driving so I don't crash. Bye, guys. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow.